I was born in Streatham and um, uh, moved away quite quickly after my birth, but uh, my grandmother still lived there, so I was always going back to Streatham, and I, I knew Streatham as a child um, very, very well indeed. Um, it was a rather, a rather fascinating place, it was rather different to the Streatham that it is today. Um, it was quite, they, 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 they had sort of rather grand ideas about themselves, they thought, thought of themselves as being the Hampstead of the South. And um, there were patisserie, and there was a, a delicatessen run by French people, and all that kind of thing. And it was a bit genteel, you know. And um, one of the lovely uh, uh, attributes of the area was this magnificent theatre, the Streatham Hill Theatre, which I, I, I would go past, of course, uh, every time I took a bus to, uh, to see my, my grandmother. But as a very, very, very little boy, I think I must have been six or something like that, so that would be about 1955, um, I went to a panto. It was my first panto, and it knocked me sideways. I thought it was just the best thing ever. Um, and I was aware of the beauty, uh, or, or rather the majesty of the building. It's just a magnificent um, kind of a palace, really, of a theatre, but a people's palace, you know. It's not, uh, there was nothing grand about it at all. It was just absolutely open and, and celebratory and colourful and all of these things. But my, my great memory of the panto, which starred then very, very famous um, actor called Jimmy Edwards, who was a big uh, television and radio star and, and had been in the music hall and all of that kind of thing, with his famous handlebar moustache. And uh, he, he said this, he, what I believe now was a, 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 an improvised line, um, uh, uh, in which I, I suppose he was playing the sheriff of Nottingham or something. I, I, I don't remember that. But he said, um, somebody mentioned the Queen. It was set in England. Someone mentioned the Queen. And he said, oh, don't talk to him about any silly old queens. And I think he made that line up to make his fellow cast members laugh. Um, but I was outraged at the age of six. I was absolutely outraged. And I leapt up to my feet. And I said, how dare you say that about our queen? I was obviously a big monarchist at that time. And the audience thought this was very funny, and my family dragged me back into my seat. But that's my great memory of, 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 of a show there, because that was the only show I ever saw. And, of course, I have no way of judging now, but it seemed as if it was done on a magnificent scale. There were lots and lots of people in it, and uh, uh, there was an orchestra and everything. I was very, very thrilled by it. It, it was a, a very grand theatrical space, and uh, it, it's wonderfully designed by, by an, an, an architect who was Aus Australian by birth called Sprague, who was responsible for many of the best theatres in the West End. And uh, this was his last theatre, I think 1929, and uh, it, it, it was, I think maybe he, he wanted to go out with a bang, you know, I and mean, it was just, it's, it's a splendid, splendid, splendid place. And it's lovely that it was, you know, um, in the suburbs, so to speak. It, it, it would have been perfectly marvellous in the West End, but, 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 but that was the end, really, of the epoch of shows uh, and, 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 and theatres actually in the suburbs. Uh, and, uh, of course, b before it became the, the Bingo Hall, it, um, it had been the, num the first stop for uh, shows which uh, had ended their West End run and went on a tour. And so I do remember West Side Story being there. I remember that very well. I think that must have been 1957. Um, and uh, uh, it was such a massive hit, that show. And uh, um, the, the, the theatre, uh, the Streatham Hill Theatre, was bigger than the theatre in which it appeared first in the West End. So, you, you know, it was, a, it, was a, it was a major touring venue. It's funny to think that, that a show would tour you, it only took you, I mean, <laughs> half an hour to get to Victoria from uh, Streatham Hill, but no, Streatham Hill was a, you know, a separate date. Uh, and, and the big shows all came there.
I, I was aware of something too, this is much later really, um, when I knew a bit about theatre history, that it had been opened by a very, very, very famous uh, West End star called Evelyn Lay, uh, a very uh, much loved woman, and uh, um, uh, her, her nickname, I don't know why she had this, it was Boo, so she was, it was, she was known as Boo Lay, and uh, the, the fact that she'd opened it really tells you how... Um, bigger deal it was that that, that theatre had, had uh, come to be built in Stratham. I, I think my, my visit to the theatre as a little boy certainly gave me an idea of what a glamorous place uh, a theatre was. And uh, I, I've always been drawn to that aspect of the theatre. I, I love it. I love that it's um, uh, the, the, the buildings themselves are rather beautiful. And uh, in fact, I wrote a book about it called The Great Theatres of London uh, with, uh, and, uh, with wonderful photographs by, by Derry Moore, which do show that, 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 that the whole idea of a theatre was not simply what happened on stage, but the whole transition from your daily life and the street outside into this kind of wonderland, in a way. And uh, I'd certainly never seen anything like it at the age of five, and I was absolutely knocked sideways by it. I can't think that it uh, made me uh, have any aspirations to become an actor, but I didn't have any aspirations to be an actor I, until much, much, much later, till I was in my 20s. But um, uh, certainly um, uh, I, 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 I adored the kind of spirit of it. And, and maybe it was that that made me ask people to take me to the theatre thereafter, because then I did branched out a bit and went to London to the Scala Theatre to see Peter Pan and, and other shows, you know. Uh, my family weren't a theatre-going family at all, but, but for these special events and at Christmas, yes, we went. Uh, it, it's a great thing to have a local theatre. I mean, this runs on a terrifically grand scale, but it's, it's, it's a very important thing for any community, in my view, to be able to have a place where all your neighbours go to the theatre. When you go to a theatre in the West End of London, by definition almost, it's going to be people from all over the place, which is a, a good thing too. But but in, in, in the case of a, a theatre like Streatham Hill, that it's, it's something to be proud of, something to be interested in, something uh, where you can follow, especially if I don't think this ever happened at the Streatham Hill Theatre, but, but if there's a resident company there. But, but, uh, but, but you can certainly f you have a, a sense of... It's, a, it's rather wonderful. It's, 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 it's the, almost the equivalent to what happens in a church, which is where you get the, the, the whole community, uh, used to anyway, gather together, and they, were, they, were, they were, became a unit, became an entity. Uh, it, when 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 they um, attended the services or listened to the sermons or any of that kind of thing, similarly, uh, in the theatre, you're told the same stories. You know, you're you're connected um, by by the experience that you're having there in the theatre. And I hope very much that the theatre will return to that relationship when it when it's when it becomes a uh, a, a theatre. It's it's a very big space, and it, it, it's it's a lot to ask. I mean, to, to find two thousand people to fill that every night all year would be very difficult. But I think there are many, many, many purposes to which that magnificent building can be put. Um, for example, uh, it, it would be perfectly possible to stage plays if you brought in the safety curtain. The stage is so big that you could actually have seats on the stage and you could create a little theatre in the round or uh, uh, indeed do all kinds of things with design. You could uh, make a, 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 it into a very adventurous space. But I would hope, and it's something I've, I've said from the moment I became involved in in the, 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 the you know, um, drive to, to bring the theatre alive again as a theatre. I hope that at certain points in, in, in the year uh, it might be possible to put on, probably the panto would be a very good example of that, or, or community theatre, you know, um, um, local, local groups. 
uh, who can command great loyalty from their audiences and so on, might at points in the year actually be able to use the whole theatre. And, and that, I think, would, would really in, encourage more people to come because it's a complete entertainment, you know. It's not just what's happening on the stage, it's the, the delight of being in that splendid building. So, so um, I, I wouldn't um, think it a good idea to try to rebuild it too much. Uh, you want to keep it, to maintain its unique character. It has a very, very special character, Streatham Hill Theatre, and that's what we hope to bring back to life.